I give you my life. And I turn left and sort of look back. The driver and the other guards had no idea what happened. They were talking, laughing, carrying on. And I'm trying to sort of pitch myself, you know, what was it? And so I came to the camp and uh, I told this gentleman who rescued me that, uh, not that what has happened, because I'm still trying to figure out what has happened. And so I uh, told him that, look, I don't want to fight anymore. I don't want to destroy anymore. Enough is done. I want to go home and be peaceful. Isn't that amazing? Once Jesus comes into your life, that the hatred, the bitterness, the thirst for blood that's it. goes away. That's this it. is amazing that's because it. that's the uniqueness of being a child of Jesus, the son of the living God, being a child of God who created heaven and earth, that's who right. gives you love for people rather than hatred. I want to tell you, dear brothers and sisters, this is the love that we want to share with you. Amen. Jesus loves you. Amen. If you would give your life to Jesus, he will help you love everyone in the world because Jesus died for your sins and he loved you so much that's why he died for you so you are a precious in the sight of Jesus yes pastor Zai, what happened after you said no to Mahmud and you went out from Mahmud's camp uh, I found the Christians are still waiting so that we can go back now as you know before they were trying to put me in a 44 gallon drum and so that they would smuggle me in but then they decided that no uh, if he's found then we are in trouble but the wonderful thing is that when you meet Christ, you know, when I grew up as a Muslim boy, I hated the Jews because they were my number one enemy. It was my goal to annihilate them. But when I met Christ, He has given me such love for the Jewish people. Amen. And the Bible tells us that we are a new creation in Jesus Christ. Uh, it's not that He gives us a new start in life, but He gives us a new life to start with all over again. Now, that is the miracle of miracles. And so, when He gives that new life, all things of the past is gone. And, uh, and I, I, I still find it hard how at once, at one time, I was hating the chosen people of God so much but now how can I have so much love for them and this is the amazing thing and we know in the Bible our Lord's one of our Lord's title is Prince of Peace and you cannot have peace without the Prince of Peace and this is a blessing from him in such a wonderful way so from this point you really started reading the Bible and the Lord most miraculously saved you from that place and He brought you out from that place? Well, Pastor Danny, after that situation, I have been probably before a gun six times. I can remember some of the situations so vividly. And every time the Lord has pulled me out of it. When I thought that next minute I'll be dead. But every time He has pulled me out. And there was an army officer who was in charge of me to interrogate me all my activities and everything and he told me this before he left my town he said whenever I came to your house I had plans to put you in prison to find out what the prisoners are talking about to put you in the border areas to help the armies but when I came to your house as soon as I crossed the front gate of your house something has stopped me from presenting my plans to you I do not know why I have a soft spot in my heart for you and with the signature of this man, thousands of young men has been dragged out of their homes and shot. I know that, because he told me. And, and he had the power to do that. And you know, I remember after 30 or so years, word for word what he said. But at that time, of course, it didn't make much sense. But I now know who is controlling him. And he also, I was trying to leave my country uh, for safety. And I have to go to capital to get visa and all those kinds of things. And I said to him that, look, can I come with you to the capital? And he said, no. I said, why? You got put a room. And he would say that, look, the, uh, the fighters will put, freedom fighters will put, put uh, mines on the road for the army. And if you're in my vehicle, and if my vehicle gets blown up with a mine, then I don't want your blood in my hand. Now, here is a man with whose signatures 
thousands of young men has been taken out and shot. And me, he's telling, he does not want my blood in his hand. Where does it come from? The only answer is from the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. So I have seen the sovereign power of God again and again and again. And I have no doubt that he is real and he's alive. He's with me. He's with you. And anyone who would welcome him, he will. Obviously, you have come to a place where you know that Jesus is truly God. He Amen. Is one God. Amen. Uh, I know that there are people who go around saying that there are Christians worship three gods. No. We worship one God. That's it. And the Bible is the true word of God. Amen. Would you like to share something? Well, I find this book. Every word in it is true. Historically and otherwise. The things that have been said has come to pass to the letter. Not 90%, not 99%, 100%. And the word of God is like a bag of fertilizer. If you have a bag of fertilizer on a shelf, it's no good. But when you put it in the ground, it releases its power. And I find the word of God is just like that. When you put it into practice in your life, it comes alive. And the power that is locked in this is unleashed. And so that you can be the person that God has planned for you, destined for you designed for you and who does not want to find that happen in their lives to fulfill the dreams that they have through this book you're able to I believe this is the Word of God and I believe it is his inspired word to give us guidance and to tell us also I find this as a love letter from my father in heaven that he has given me a love letter that I can read I can know him I can understand him I can communicate with him and this is why this is very dear to me. And I also know, Pastor Danny, that Jesus Christ is the only Lord, the only Savior, the only God, the only Messiah. And there is no one else. Because He said, I am the truth. I am the life. I am the door. I am the only way to the Father. There is no other way. Now, either He is the greatest liar, or the greatest madman, or what He said is true. But from the experience of my life, I can say what he said is true. Amen. 100%. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, here is a man who once hated the Christians and the Jews, who once wanted to eliminate them from the face of the earth. The love of Jesus shown by other Christians whom he met, places he went to, begin to ask, he began to ask questions. And today, he's completely turned around to know that Jesus is the only way. And he stands to share that the Word of God is the true Word of God. Amen. The Bible is the truth. Jesus is the truth. Amen. If you believe in Jesus That's right. and read the Word of God, you will surely go to heaven. Right. You don't need to go and make sacrifices. That's right. Because Jesus made the sacrifice, sacrifice. on the cross of Calvary for Hallelujah. you. Hallelujah. So you are free right now. You yes. just got to accept Him into your life. Yes. Ask forgiveness yes. and say, Jesus, come in. That's he will come into your life That's right. and He will change you. Amen. Pastor Zahir, you have gone on from one end to completely another end. Yes. Today, you are pastoring a church, yes. preaching the Word of God, yes. and you are a shepherd to many sheep. Yes. God bless you. It's been a joy having you with us. You have to say anything in closing to those brothers and sisters who are listening right now. Well, I want to say this in closing. That the, the only thing you can do in your life and the best thing you can do in your life is to secure your life. Remember you have only one life in this side. And what you do in this life will decide what's going to happen in the next life. But you don't have to wait for that long. Because that life can begin right now where you are. Once you have connected with the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And all He needs you is to give yourself to Him and say, Lord, I give you myself. And I acknowledge you as my Lord and Savior. That's the beginning of the wonderful journey that He will take you through in this life and then in the life to come. Now, that's what Christ has done. And He will be with you now, wherever you are, in whatever situation you are. Remember, He never makes any conditions. He comes and rescues, and then He reveals Himself. And then He gives you a choice. It is your decision. It is your choice. 
what are you going to do? I hope and pray that you will make a decision to turn to Him so that you can have a life that is worth living on earth. And then you can look forward to a wonderful life with Him forever and ever and ever. To God 